Ugh, fuck, I predicted it. Remember what I said about spray logos and how they were fun? And remember what I said to Valve? Hey, to Valve! This would be a great opportunity to make some money! Just saying. It appeared Valve listened to me, or just drew the logical conclusions to make some more money. Well, the spray logos are back and everyone is pissed. So before we get pissed too, let's have a look at how the graffiti works in CSGO. And if you don't know how they worked in previous games, I suggest you take a look at the cut content of Counter-Strike Episode 7 first. I'll wait for you to come back and in the meantime I'll get myself a beer. Back already? Alright. So in CSGO everyone got a graffiti for free. I got this thing. Very fancy. But of course you can get several different ones, either by simply playing the game or by buying them like skins. The system is pretty much identical. Woohoo! I've wasted my money. In game you just go to a wall, press V and you'll get a preview of where the graffiti will be placed at. Your logo will stay there for some time, about like 5 or 7 minutes. It doesn't disappear after every round, which is kind of nice. Some things that are actually better than the old games, you can select from several different ones while playing the game and you can choose an exact location. What makes the process inferior to the old versions, it takes longer to place a spray logo or graffiti and I assume the biggest drawback, after spraying 50 times your graffiti is gone. Though that's genius from an economic point of view. And that is what enraged so many people. The fact that the graffiti is Valve sanctioned and was not surprising to me, but saddening. I like my bullshit, at least on public service, but well, these things are annoying and can be avoided with the new system. But the fact that your sprays expire after using them 50 times, well, I guess Valve just wanted to make sure you constantly buy graffiti. And that is a legitimate reason to get angry over. Also, with the expiring system, it is harder to actually collect graffiti, like so many people do with skins. But whose fault is this? To a large extent, it's your fault, the consumer. Basically everyone who spends money on skins and now graffiti is part of the reason why Valve creates pay for skins and graffiti. By buying keys to open crates and stuff, you are showing Valve you want this. Tons of people are sad about Valve not releasing games, well, why would they? They have no reason to, they are probably working on something, but they are making a shit ton of money with skins, so why release anything new as long as this is earning them a golden crowbar? Adding pay for graffiti is the next logical step from Valve's point of view. By making them expire after 50 times, well, that's just genius from them. Well, it sucks for everyone else who's using it. And now the spray logos themselves. Yeah, very nice. Could I at least get the classic Half-Life and Counter-Strike spray logos for free? You know, that would be nice for nostalgic reasons, but nah. Oh well, I see they at least have the Pop Dog logo as a graffiti. Ugh, I want that one. But meh, the rest, not my taste. That what I said in episode 7 of the cut content of Counter-Strike still rings true. A great source of entertainment is gone. Back then, spray logos were something personal. It added a new level of non-verbal communication to the game. It transported humor, simple shitposting or outright offensiveness. But now, pre-selected and filtered stuff that expires. Yay, I killed someone, I spray loser on the wall or whatever. I don't need that, that's what the voice chat is for. I need my custom graffitis back to make sure you know what gets me horny and everyone sees important messages like dicks out for Harambe. So CSGO graffitis go fuck right off. And you know I'm not even mad at Valve for trying to make money with the spray logos cause they are a company, that's what they do. But you know what really makes me sad? That I can't spray my bullshit anymore have these pre-selected icons. That's no character, that's not me. I am not this strange graffiti, I want my stuff. For me, the graffitis were always a part of gaming culture, you know? This little weird thing that someone posts something funny and you spray your logo next to it till you have a wall completely covered in stupid memes or funny pictures or someone sprays their swastika next to it and everyone shoots on it or someone has to post porn gifs. What? I don't care, that was funny to me. 
Aren't these games supposed to be played by adults anyways? Isn't there a PGM rating or something on it? Or at least teen? Which teen hasn't seen a naked boob in their life? So, get lost with this. Oh, you do, we can't have porn. Okay, then you know what? Just disable it in competitive mode and give us the shit back. You know what? Am I even outraged for the right reason? Everyone seems to be pissed that the spray logos expire. I am mad that this is this characterless drivel now. So tell me what you think about the skins. Will you buy some or maybe just wait till cool community stuff comes up? Maybe even create your own ones and try to get them upvoted by the community. Well, see you in the comments section. And as always, have a nice day, goodbye and guten tag. And I'm going to finish my beer now. Cheers.